Hi, my name is Justin Krenz, and I'm going to be demonstrating a position tracking system that I'm developing for three years now. What do I mean by position tracking system? I'm talking about a device that will be able to track your position and movement over a large space for virtual reality applications. Combine this with a head mounted display and you'll be able to physically walk through a virtual environment. So how does it work? My system uses radio waves, or RF, and operates similarly to GPS, except it's higher resolution and works indoors. My goal for this system is to bring immersive virtual reality into the home at an affordable price, while overcoming the problems of other tracking systems, such as optical, ultrasonic, and magnetic-based systems. In comparison, my system is cheaper than professional optical tracking because it uses low-cost transmitters instead of expensive cameras and it isn't blocked or occluded if something gets in the way. It also has much less dated process which results in cheaper processing hardware. A low-end optical system like the Kinect is more affordable but its capture space is limited and its latency is higher than more expensive systems. Ultrasonic systems are cheap, but they're slow because they measure the speed of sound. They also have to deal with occlusion. My system uses radio waves which travel at the speed of light, resulting in a faster response rate and lower latency. Magnetic systems are fast and can go through objects, but their range is poor. Magnetic fields just don't travel as far as radio waves. Based on these factors, I chose to develop a system using RF that can be built at low cost while overcoming the problems of other systems. The first half of my system consists of four transmitters affixed to a common frame to form a base station. Four of these base stations will be placed in each corner of a room to form a capture space. These transmitters take turns broadcasting a 4 GHz signal to be picked up by all receivers in the capture space. Each receiver can use four of these signals to calculate its own position. The other half of my system consists of one or more receivers in the capture space. Each receiver captures four or more signals and then triangulates its own position. The antennas capture a signal amplify it, digitize it, and then process it using a field programmable gate array or FPGA. Since the system only determines position, a separate inertial measurement unit consisting of an accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer is used to determine rotation of the receiver. Here is what the data coming from the receiver looks like. The first four columns are the times it took for the signal to travel from transmitter 1, 2, 3, and 4 to the receiver in nanoseconds. The next three columns are the X, Y, and Z coordinates of the receiver's position. The last three columns are its pitch, yaw, and roll. Now I'm going to show you a demo program using the Unity Engine that takes the tracking data from the receiver and matches a cube to the position and angle reported. Here is a demonstration using styrofoam which shows that the signal is not blocked by solid objects like with optical tracking. Finally, here is the receiver used for head tracking with a head mounted display.
Thanks for watching.